Hi everyone, the purpose of this video is to highlight the possibility of local design and manufacture of equipment and systems required for desalination, water and wastewater treatment in Saudi Arabia in order to increase the local content in these projects. This video is intended for experts and not for educational purposes, so I'm not going to discuss much on the process details and calculations. What I'm showing here is just a prototype of sodium hypochlorite generator. Uh, it basically consists of a DC power supply. Uh, this one is oversized, it's about uh, 200 amps, while the required one uh, could be 50 amps only. Then we have the electrolyzer chamber, and the cathode and anode are connected by power cables connected to the DC power supply. Inside the electrolyzer chamber, we have the cathode and anode assembly. This one is completely manufactured in Saudi Arabia, designed and manufactured. And uh, it is made uh, from titanium material and coated with iridium noble metal. This is uh, separated by ceramic and uh, polyethylene uh, bolts and nuts. Inside the electrolyzer chamber, we have one piece of the cathode and anode assembly. And this is the sodium chloride uh, solution tank and this uh, the solution is pumped by a dosing pump which is only 100 gpd and it goes directly inside to the electrolyzer chamber and then the product comes out uh, we have the hydrogen gas which is exhausted through the exhaust pipe and the resulting uh, sodium hypochlorite solution is pumped to the collection uh, chamber, air collection chamber. Now, uh, as you know, the hydrogen is a dangerous uh, gas, and it has to be diluted before it is exhausted uh, up to 1%. It has to be diluted to up to 1% before it is exhausted. Now we have the air blower, the small air blowers, which can do this dilution process, and it goes to the collection chamber, and from the collection chamber, it goes out and it also exhausts the hydrogen gas coming out from the electrolyzer chamber out to the atmosphere. Uh, now this uh, prototype is uh, simple, but the commercial uh, size, it might require some flow sensors and controllers, which are also readily available in the Saudi market. The control panel could also be produced locally by any local factory. And this assembly produces around six liter per day of one person sodium hypo and uh, could be scaled up to meter cubes per day 10 meter cube per day or whatever as per the customer requirement i uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, short uh, video and uh, may follow me up on next videos for ozone generators humidifiers and electrostatic electrostatic precipitators all to be designed and manufactured in saudi and now let's see the uh, the assembly goes into action. Now, as we can see, we turn on the power supply. We have to reduce it to 30 amps, as shown on this indicator. The dosing pump is working properly, and it starts to dose the sodium chloride solution into the reaction chamber. Now, there are gases, as we know, that is exhausted through the pipe. And now we'll just give it a little bit uh, time till the uh, chamber is filled up with the solution. And then now it started collecting the sodium hypo solution. And this is uh, too much uh, flow. We have to reduce it a little bit in the dosing pump here in order to reach to 60 liters per day. And after a while, we'll take a sample and test it for sodium hypo. Now we will just have a look of what's going inside the electrolyzer. As we can see, the gases are coming out. This is mostly hydrogen gas. Now what we have here is a iodine solution with the starch as an indicator, and the color of the solution is blue. And now we'll take one sample of the produced sodium hypochlorite and we'll titrate it uh, with the solution. So let's see. So just to give a positive negative indication. 
then we can start adding until the col the color becomes colorless. Can add more. See the color is fading. This means that chlorine is working here and it's bleaching the color. A few more. The color is gone, becomes this is an indication of the presence of uh, sodium hypochlorite.